Hi, I'm John DeBerry. I am a former bartender and all-around drinks guy, and I'm going to be showing you all how to make fancy drinks uh, at home. So the first uh, drink that we're going to make together is uh, Blue Hawaii. I'm a big blue drinks guy, so it's just one of my favorite drinks. So I'll show you how to make that now. So I'm eyeballing four ounces of Blue Curacao. So the original Blue Hawaii recipe um, doesn't have any coconut in it, and then there's a Blue Hawaiian recipe that does incorporate some coconut cream. Uh, and so I thought it would be fun to jazz up the original by infusing uh, the Blue Curacao uh, with coconut flakes. This is two tablespoons of uh, unsweetened coconut, and just give it a little stir, and then uh, and you want to let the uh, infusion sit for about 30 minutes. So whenever possible, I like to do uh, fresh pineapple juice. Uh, it's just got a better flavor. It's not always super convenient. I don't even have a juicer, so what I'm gonna do is use a blender and just strain it out. This is a cute trick that I picked up in the last year for juicing pineapples. Uh, you just twist off the top. It comes off really easily. I'm gonna juice about half of it uh, for today, and then the rest I'm gonna use uh, for garnish. I chop up everything, including the core, because you're just gonna blend it anyway. So having a fancy juicer is nice, but not necessary, especially if you have like a small kitchen like I do, so uh, I'm just going to use the blender to blend everything up and then strain it out with uh, like a colander. So. so you just need to blend it up so it's a pulp and then uh, get uh, like a mesh strainer or something like this. Uh, and, then, and then you can just let this strain out while you juice the limes. For limes, you obviously want them to be ripe and, and soft, but a lot of times they're like really dry, so don't be discouraged <laughs> if you're not getting a lot of lime juice from your limes because uh, it can be challenging. Uh, you always want to rinse them, just get any mysterious supermarket stuff off of it, and it also helps for them to be a little bit warmer. Uh, they just juice better and they're easier to, to handle uh, if they're not cold. And you'd think that someone who used to be a bartender in a lot of fancy places would have a more sophisticated juicing setup, but I'm just like kind of over it. I don't even know where I got this uh, juicer from. And if you're making one, you want about half an ounce of juice. You always want to juice limes like pretty close to when you're going to want to serve the drink. Like lime and lemon juice kind of get off maybe after like 12 hours, so this is not something you want to do like the night before. So one of the uh, most useful kitchen items I, I, can, I can think of is the gold coffee filter from a coffee machine that I don't have. So I actually just bought like four of them uh, online and uh, they're great for filtering out juice and other infusions. So got a quart container, uh, definitely revealing myself as a restaurant person. I use these all the time. Uh, and once you strain, once you juice the limes, you want to strain out some of the pulp and stuff so you're just getting the clear juice. How diligent you want to get with your making sure you get all the liquid out of your pineapple pulp is kind of up to you and how much time you have. <laughs> yeah, and if you have anything like creative to do with the uh, pineapple solids, uh, let us know in the comments. Um, I'm sure you could probably make a lot of really cool things out of it, but I just can't think of any right now. <laughs> So uh, now that it's been 30 minutes, uh, we're going to strain out the uh, coconut flakes from the blue curacao. It actually weirdly gets bluer, I don't know how. Um, and then with the coconut flakes, uh, you can spread them out on like a plate or something and let them dry because you're going to use them for uh, the garnish. And I actually put these in the sun to dry, so sun-dried blue coconut flakes, <laughs> very artisanal three hours in sunlight. Um, if you want to fake it, you could probably do like a low oven for, for a minute. So I've got my ice, uh, we've got our infusions, we've got the juice, we've got all the liquor we need. Uh, so now let's go and make the drink itself. So if you're at all serious about making drinks at home, uh, you should definitely have uh, some essential bar tools and some of them uh, are jiggers. There's a half ounce and a three quarter ounce jigger and then there's a one ounce and a two ounce jigger. Uh, and then also uh, kind of a non-negotiable is a shaking set. Uh, sometimes you'll see this with glass, which is fine. It's just a little heavy and can kind of be awkward. So if you can find the two uh, metal tins, it's gonna make your life 
a lot easier. Get it like nice and covered on all sides. So the recipe itself is fairly straightforward. It's three quarter ounces of lime juice, three quarter ounces of the infused uh, blue curacao, uh, three quarter ounces of vodka, three quarter ounces of rum, and then an ounce of uh, pineapple juice. And I think that sometimes vodka gets like a bad rap uh, for cocktails because people think that it tastes like nothing, which is like partially true, but uh, vodka can have like a nice texture to it. It also acts as like a spacer. So some of the flavors that might be like too concentrated to be balanced, uh, it's, it's a nice like kind of addition to the, to the drink to kind of give it a little bit of length. Uh, and then while also not making it like less strong. So, uh, and then you want to take, take your drink, You want to add a good amount of ice to the shaker uh, and then make sure it's sealed and then you want to give it a really vigorous shake for like 15 seconds. Um, it's a little, a little bit longer than you think. So. And then one of the things that gets people uh, is opening the shaker once you've done the shaking because the cold contracts the air in the shaker, so it's like actually pretty sealed. Um, and if you don't have like the size or the strength in your hands just to crack it yourself, you can uh, find where there's like the most space between the two shakers and just give it a pop and then it'll break the vacuum and you can just pour it open. I'm also a lazy person, so unless I have to strain cocktails, I don't. So for me, you can skip the strainer. Uh, which is kind of essential for other, other drinks, but for me, just the whole thing just goes right in. And then you take the pineapple wedge and there you go. So this drink for me is like the perfect summer drink. It's got all the kind of like refreshing citrus that you need. It's also got pineapple juice, so when you shake it, you get this nice kind of froth to it. So it's just like perfect. The color obviously gets where you want to go. So for me, like just the kind of refreshing uh, fruity vibe is uh, always a winner for me. So you can get the recipe for this at Food 52 along with some other great drink stuff. And I will be back next month for another recipe. Cheers.